This attack served as a proof of concept, demonstrating that Russian assets in the rear, even those with layered defenses, are now vulnerable to low-cost, precision drone strikes. This operation utilized four FPV, or first-person view, attack quadcopters. Each was modified for extreme range, pushing far beyond the standard 3km operational limit for such drones. Achieving this 35km penetration required a complex, coordinated effort. While Ronin unit operators piloted the attack drones, the Kobol 9 ET unit of Ukraine's Defense Intelligence, or GUR, provided real-time intelligence, having tracked the target train for weeks to learn its schedule and configuration. Simultaneously, the Alpha Unit of the Security Service, or SBU, conducted electronic overwatch by intercepting Russian communications for early warnings. Finally, the next group from the State Special Communications Service was ready with counter-jamming equipment to breach the Russian electronic warfare screen. The mission's primary technical hurdle was signal transmission. High-speed, precision strikes against a moving target demand a zero-latency video feed. For this, Ukrainian forces depend on analog 5.8 GHz video transmission. Although digital signals could extend the range more easily, their inherent 200 millisecond delay would cause a 5-meter targeting error at speeds of 80 kilometers per hour.